Well, it's a brisk winter day out here in Michigan. So I figured since there's a little bit of snow now, might as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the rusty ram first because I think it has the highest overall probability of catastrophic failure out there just because it's so rusty. So save the Jeep till last. Still never fix the wipers. So my biggest question with this is the open differentials. Pretty light truck, not the best tires. Open diffs. Lots of ice out there. Should be alright though. I got faith she'll start right up. I guess we should fire up the old XJ. See if that's got what it takes. So I guess two cold starts. In case you don't know, out there is probably the bumpiest field you'll ever ride in. It's uh, totally cut up from tractor ruts over the years from different farmers out here haying it out and it's always wet out there so it's gonna be a rough ride for sure we'll see how they do um, kind of skeptical as to whether or not the ram can take the abuse out there without something breaking or falling off we'll see it'll probably be fine though My reasoning behind taking this first is simply that there's still a little bit of light out here. So if something were to go wrong, at least I've got a little bit of light. Let's see, for a little for the tractor.
diffs, you know, being a, basically a two-wheel drive mall crawler at the time. Oh, brakes are wasted. I must have blown a brake line too. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll take the Jeep out and see how that thing does. Overall, the Ram did okay. I'm not really surprised, but kind of surprised that something worse didn't happen. So we'll go grab the Jeep. On a side note, I want to show you guys something extremely rare. Look at that, an almost complete dash in a 2000 Ram. Yeah, only a couple of cracks, which, you know, doesn't bode well for the future, but overall, nearly intact dash. All right, well, there's your mount. I can't get it to stick anywhere else, so there you go. Enjoy the ride. Will it even focus? Oh, that would suck. go. First time the XJ that I'm aware of has ever been in the snow. We're in uh, two-wheel drive.
rough country. Yeah, I'm thinking Rusty's. I don't know if you guys know or not. But when I got the XJ, this Rusty sticker, I think I'm auto-focusing out somewhere else, but that Rusty sticker is just stuck on that glove compartment lid. So I think it's telling me that it has to have Rusty on it. Rough country is expensive.
So we're almost out of gas. Two wheel drive. It's friggin' hot in here. It's like steaming up the windows. How are we doing? Old GoPros is still on? Yep. I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but <laughs> the old XJ. Man, it looks so good. Especially when it's all packed with snow. It doesn't look quite so bad. Huh, not bad considering I'm right-handed. Yeah, we're good. Let's see if we can Blues Brothers it right into the spot. Nope, not quite, but close enough. That was fun. I hope you guys had fun. I'm gonna go plow some snow right now. Rusty Ram, not as much fun in the snow at all. This XJ, oh man. Need to fin fix the uh, coolant temp deal. I gotta fix the thing, it's got a problem. All these XJs have a problem with the fuel gauge. It goes down super fast anytime the car is on. That blows. Oil pressure was all right. Everything's good. And the old XJ. And your mount stayed on. Classy move. Gorilla tape for the win. All right. XJ is great. I love the XJ. Alright, so there you have it. I hope you didn't mind the little, you know, snow day, play day thing in some of the trucks. XJ did awesome, so hopefully uh, that thing will be getting new suspension soon. So I'm looking at Rusty's. See, I'm uh, a Rusty's kit full leafs, and then the springs up front, nothing fancy, three inch kit. You know, that way I'm not going to be doing any like hardcore wheeling with that. It's just going to be, you know, better than what it is. But it, it did great. Everything was awesome. Rusty Ram, it is what it is. You know, it's a big tank, but I like the XJ. It was fun. So hopefully the GoPro footage came out okay. I don't know. I guess I'll find out tonight whenever um, I edit it. I'm going to be getting a Radiant tube heater installed in the shop here this week. I think it's this week. So that's going to open up a lot of opportunities for uh, doing stuff out here in the wintertime. So that'll be good. Working on this thing, getting it ready for power tour. It's coming up faster than what I think it is. So, you know, I got to get that stuff done. Anyway, that's it for this one. Um, yeah, next video is going to be D150 stuff, getting the heaters, heater controls and all that stuff working in that truck, getting it closer to power tour. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a great one, and I'll see you on the next one.